As an open platform, we strive to be the place that all developers love to build on. Whether you're just starting out with Meta Horizon or have been with us since Oculus Rift DK2, we've been working hard to improve the platform and democratize development so that anyone, maybe even you, can build the next breakout mixed reality app. I'm Jisoo Shin, and I'm a software engineer on the developer platform team. I've shipped dozens of features on the MetaQuest Developer Hub to streamline your app development experience, and also built tools to help you get early feedback from some of your most dedicated and passionate community members. Now, all these features started from the same place, and that's from feedback from developers like you. Your feedback is a gift, and it's what informs and shapes our roadmap. So I wanted to share at MetaConnect this year all the ways we're addressing the feedback that you've given us and show you how the platform is improving as a direct result. So let's start with the improvements we've made to the development environment and your choice of platform. We have a brand new developer center, your one-stop shop for mixed reality development on Meta Horizon. Besides being much easier to navigate, the site can help you understand all the different paths and tools you have available to create great experiences. And as part of our new developer center, we overhauled our developer documentation and API references and updated them across the board to be more accurate, more comprehensive, and just easier to understand. Being able to find the accurate, comprehensible information you need is critical to building the best possible experiences on MetaQuest. But it's inevitable that you'll be working across different engines and different environments. And we're committed to simplifying and accelerating your entire development experience. So we wanted to share a few areas we've collaborated with Unity over the past year. Unity 6 will continue to support the Quest family of devices. So you can create greater immersion for your experiences with the optimized GPU performance and the new mixed reality capabilities that come with Unity's latest engine release. Unity 6 will also introduce a new build target for MetaQuest devices, making it easier than ever to start building for Quest. And finally, in an upcoming update, Unity 6 will improve your ability to deploy your experiences across platforms with full OpenXR support for all MetaQuest capabilities. We know you have multiple engine options for building your app, with Unreal Engine being a leading choice for its exceptional graphics and performance capabilities. We heard you want to push visual quality even further with Unreal, so we made improvements to boost general rendering and GPU performance for dynamic lighting. We also added some new post-processing effects like filmic tone mapping for cinematic flair, vignette for added depth and focus, and color grading for precise mood and atmosphere control. And if you're new to Unreal, getting set up for the first time has never been easier with our Meta XR plugin now available directly on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. If you haven't already, check out our showcase Vanto, which demonstrates how mixed reality features like scene mesh, pass-through, and depth API can be combined to create action-packed gameplay in Unreal. OK, let's talk about slow build times, when you're waiting for the engine to build your project so you can deploy and test your change. We've made substantial improvements to build times in both Unity and Unreal. Another focus area of ours is on the actual platform you do your development within. Many of you are PC developers, but with our open platform, we want to ensure all developers can build for Quest. Our teams have been working to officially support MetaQuest development on Mac, which is now easier and more efficient with our cross-platform support across our tools. At last year's MetaConnect, we released the Meta XR Simulator, our lightweight open XR runtime, which allows you to build your app without needing to wear a physical headset. And since then, one of your most frequent requests has been for Mac support. So we're pleased to share that Meta XR Sim is fully supported with Unity on Mac OS. In addition, RenderDoc Metafork, a powerful graphics debugger extended to work with Quest devices, now supports Mac. So you can optimize your apps by inspecting your app's draw calls on a per frame basis. 
These tools join others like the MetaQuest Developer Hub and Haptic Studio, who already support macOS. Now I'd like to share some improvements we've made to tools that you use on a daily basis while developing on Meta Horizon. MetaQuest Developer Hub, or MQDH for short, is the essential app development tool for every Quest developer. I wanted to highlight three improvements that you may have missed. First, CAST 2.0, our high quality Quest to desktop streaming and recording feature, has officially graduated from beta and is now the default casting experience you can use for seamless gameplay sharing. In addition to streaming, CAST 2.0 now allows you to remotely control your headset with the keyboard and mouse, enabling even faster development. Second, MQDH gains several much requested quality of life improvements. In the past, you had to remember to re-enable the device's proximity sensor outside your development sessions. But now, Device Manager includes a new setting that automatically disables and re-enables the device's proximity sensor when you connect and disconnect your device from MQDH. And File Manager used to only support your primary account, but now you're able to manage your media files on both your main and secondary or testing accounts. And third, we know that optimizing CPU and GPU in apps with complex layer setups has been difficult. So we're introducing the Compositor Demystifier, a new tool in the Performance Analyzer that provides granular control over the layers rendered by the compositor. If you develop on PC, MetaQuest Link is a critical tool helping you play and test an editor without having to deploy the app to the headset. We know it's frustrating when your Link session unintentionally disconnects in the middle of development, so we fixed many stability issues, and we also shipped AutoConnect, which automatically connects to a link session when available. So you should now be able to iterate much faster in editor without frequent interruptions. We've also added support for pass-through over MetaQuest Link, which can be easily toggled on and off using the PC app. One of my favorite quality of life improvements is the in-headset release channel selector. Developers, QA testers, and even beta testers are often changing release channels during testing and iterations. And in the past, you had to do this in the web or the mobile app. You can now change what version of the app you want to test while in headset, which is really going to simplify your workflow. Multiplayer testing has also received a massive workflow upgrade. Today, many of the top apps are multiplayer, and multiplayer functionality is a proven driver of user retention and engagement. However, testing multiplayer can be challenging and previously required multiple team members and multiple devices using suboptimal workflows. But now, a single developer can test multiple instances of their app on a single device using physical controllers. To help you take advantage of these new multiplayer testing workflows, we've published comprehensive best practices guides in our documentation. So those improvements help you build your app faster and more efficiently, but now I want to share how we've made it easier to manage your app on the Meta Horizon developer platform. We know having accurate and faithful reviews are important to your app store page and your app success. That's why we've incorporated AI-powered detection tools to automatically flag and identify bad reviews. We've also made updates to the review moderation dashboard to let you request to take down specific reviews if they're spam, irrelevant, or even abusive. And building on last year's release of device targeting, you now have the option to block purchases by device. For example, you may not have the bandwidth to support development on Quest One. By enabling device purchase blocking, you can reduce your level of ongoing support, ensuring you don't sell the app to new users on certain devices. In 2021, we introduced cloud backups to enable all apps to automatically backup user save data so they can easily pick up where they left off. Cloud backup failures happen when apps exceed the backup limit which can create major disruptions to the user experience. You can now monitor when these failures happen in the developer dashboard and use the exclude file path tool to reduce your backup size. 
We heard your feedback that it wasn't easy to see and manage all of your build uploads to release channels. So we also added a new builds page to the developer dashboard, where you can easily see build versions, supported devices, app size, and current and historical release channels that each build has been in. Speaking of app sizes, we've made a lot of progress to reduce the download size for app updates. We've had Delta updates since the launch of Quest, but we didn't fully take app compression into account. So the effectiveness of these Delta updates was reduced. Now that we're fully accounting for app compression, our new algorithm is able to significantly reduce the median update size. So keep an eye out for a new app update info page in the developer dashboard later this year, which is a new page that will show you detailed information about the Delta patches we generate for your app and help you optimize for the smallest possible update size. So how can you stay up to date as we continuously make improvements going forward? The brand new Developer Center is a good place to start. From here, you can keep up with our blog to stay up to date on our latest releases. And you can also subscribe to our monthly developer newsletter, which is a great way to get these improvements straight to your email without having to go looking. In addition, our release notes for Meta Horizon OS and SDKs are filled with regular updates and quality of life fixes for those who want all the details. If you're new, we hope this gives you some exposure to the breadth of our platform and the tools you can use. And if you've been on our platform for a while, we hope these quality of life improvements just make everything easier. Thank you for your continued feedback as it motivates us to make your development on Meta Horizon the best experience possible. Next up, my colleague A.R. Schleicher is going to give you an amazing tour of the MetaQuest 3S.